Hi everybody. I hope that you're all having a good weekend. I know that I do film these uh, videos on the weekend and then I post them during the week. So anyways, let's get started with this haul. So I have been looking at the Hobonichis for this year, um, actually this fall when they were released. And I had finally decided, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and finally order one. But um, I held off because due to COVID, um, the Hobonichi company decided to change shippers and go with FedEx. Now I live in Memphis, which is the home of FedEx, but it's still gonna be expensive even to ship to me from Japan, um, you know, versus if they had just stuck with just doing EMS. So I was trying to find some other places within the U.S. that were selling Hobonichis. And, um, you know, there was one place that I almost went with, but they ended up being sold out of the particular cover that I wanted. So um, I just kept, you know, I put my, my email on a couple of other places to be notified for when they got in stock. But nothing came up. And so I just kind of randomly looked at Amazon last Monday and found that the cover that I wanted was actually in stock with the actual um, diary. So I went ahead and got it. So what I ordered was the Hobonichi Cousin. Um, this is the A5 version and this um, cover is in turquoise. So it did come with 2021's um, diary so or daily diary so this is what it looks like okay um it's vinyl now i do need to order the cover on cover the clear plastic um or vinyl cover because i definitely do not want to um get this you know dirty now this whole set right here cost 80 dollars, and i got prime shipping so that was actually a better deal than me ordering it straight from japan okay so as usual with the Hobonichis, you know, you've got all the pockets here on the side. Um, and then you've got here, the flap here. So you would slip your Hobonichi in there, okay? So here's the Techo, the cousin, for 2021. It did come with this um, little catalog on the inside to show Basically, I guess it's explaining, you know, the various sizes, some of the accessories for this year, because it's supposed to be the 20th anniversary. So, um, and it, some of it's in English and some of it's in Japanese. Of course, you know, you've got the different Hobonichi um, diaries, okay? And then it shows some examples from submissions that were um, sent in of how people use their Hobonichi. So I thought this was pretty neat. Um, it didn't come with the pen, which is usually a free gift that you get from Hobonichi when you order through them, since I did get this from Amazon, but that's okay. I don't really need the pen. I've got plenty of pens. So here is the actual diary itself. Um, this is my first time actually having like the actual Hobonichi diary. Now I've, ha I've got a couple of covers, which I will show later on, but um, I want, I was really curious because I wanted to see how the paper was. And it's, uh, surprisingly, when I, I first opened this, I was kind of shocked at how heavy this is, um, considering that there's a whole year in here, but still, I mean, this is pretty substantial weight, you know? And the paper is super smooth, as is all Japanese paper that I've used. Um, so I'm gonna look up and see what pens are really good that don't bleed, you know? But I'm going to try, if I can, to write in this every day, starting in January. I was going to um, get the day free because actually I do find that I do better with a day free version, but let's see if I can do this for 2021. If it doesn't work out, then I will definitely get the day free for 2022. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with this. Um, so it's gonna be like that. Now I went with A5 because in the past, I have A6. Now, like I said, I'd never ordered this before. I'd only purchased the covers. I purchased this cover, when did this come out? 2015, I believe. I think it does show it in the card here. Um, 
yeah, 2017. I got this cover from Amazon, and this is right here. It's this is the name of the designer. Okay, I just really liked it because it had like a lot of the candy and you know just toys and stuff. And this has the cover on cover. Okay, I had put I had ordered the MD notebook. This is the Midori notebook, um, and it does fit in there really well. I just have not used this. Okay. Um, it's more like I'm just collecting this. That's my picture of my dog, Sam, who's sadly has passed away. This was the very first cover that I purchased. This is a, um, blue Hobonichi from 2014, as you can see here. Okay. I had bought this on eBay for pretty cheap. And, um, yeah, as you can see, it is a little bit different from the 2020 version. Now this in here is a, um, what is the name of this? Let me pull it out here. Here it is. It's one of these notebooks. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Oops, sorry, trying to get the focusing. Um, I think you can buy these over at Barnes and Nobles as I think that's where I got it from. And this is, this was like 6.95. It's a Spanish um, company. So I went ahead and put it in here because it fits. I mean, these are A6, you know, and I originally was going to make my own version of the Hobonichi, but I messed up when I was doing this. See, you can see I was already trying to like do my own version, but I stopped and I just never did use it. So I just kind of kept this in there. And, you know, if I had thinking, well, eventually when I do get the actual um, Techo, then I would have, uh, used one of these covers but I just find that the a6 is a little too small for me you know um, with the amount because I tend to write a lot that's my problem um, when I'm like even when I was blogging I would always write a lot on my entries and I figured that the a5 was going to be um, enough room for me because I plan on doing you know putting pictures in there um, stickers you know just decorating each page as I go so the last cover that I have here. This is a Love Doki Hobonichi version. Um, this is like pleather kind of. It's a, uh, it's okay. I just ordered it because of the mint color because I love mint. I did get this off of Amazon, but you can see, look at that. You can see the glue stained right there. It's only on this, yeah, right here. You know, I mean, that doesn't bother me. I probably paid like maybe, I don't know, $15 maybe for this, which isn't bad. You know, I just wish now that I would have been able to get the um, A5 as a an option. But then the colors are, you know, a little similar. So, yeah. Um, I can't wait to use this. I'm going to try to find a reasonable priced um, place that sells the cover on cover. Uh... I was looking on Facebook and there's some people that are selling the cover on cover for $10, but then $5 shipping. Really? It's just a vinyl cover. So, um, yeah, I'm going to try to look around and maybe get a Hobonichi, um, pencil board too. So then that helps as far as like when I'm writing and it'll be perfectly sized for it. So yeah. Okay. That's my Hobonichi haul. Um, on to the next haul.